In Kentuckiana, the increasing presence of dollar stores in neighborhoods. They're known for deep discounts, but critics say there's a downside and they want to limit their growth. ABC's Rannon Alley explains. Chicago is the latest city taking steps to rein in dollar stores. Critics claim the stores can be a danger to communities. Their stores are filthy. They don't keep the trash up in front of the communities. The proposal would ban dollar stores owned by the same company from opening within one mile of each other. Dozens of smaller cities and towns in the U.S. have already taken similar steps. The small box retailers have been under fire, accused of violating health and building codes. Stores in Chicago have racked up more than $600,000 in fines since 2017 for everything from overcharging customers and selling tobacco to minors to selling expired infant formula and medicine. Safety, also a concern. Literally, my daughter was asked by her manager to bring her carry and conceal because he did not feel safe. In response, Dollar Tree says it has spent $1.5 million upgrading and repairing stores and boosting staffing levels. It says the Chicago proposal will limit one of the few low-cost, high-value options for essential household goods and force residents to travel further and likely pay higher prices. But some critics argue dollar stores drive out grocery chains, leaving access only to less healthy processed and canned foods. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.